So Annixture A, it shows an updated, that's a terrible way to start the video, it shows an adapted municipal account statement, sorry, property rates and services account of Mr. Fortune, Mr. SJ Fortune. And that's going to be Annixture A, so coming from your addendum, 2.2.1, write down the valuation date, the month and year of Mr. Fortune's property. Well, it was valued in 2013 in the seventh month. Seventh month is July, so the answer is, well, July 2013. 2.2.2, .2 name the municipal services that Mr. Fortune is charged for. Well, two municipal services here. It's going to be sewerage and refuse. So water and sewerage and refuse. Determine the end date of the reading period of the statement. The end date, well, the reading period is 23 days here. So we're in, we're on the the 27th of November here. So there's three more days of November and then 20 days in December. So three more days to get out of November and 20 days to get into December. So the answer here is going to be the 20th of December, 2016. It started in 2016. 2.2.4, show how the daily average consumption of 0 0.522 kiloliters was calculated. Well, charges for 12,00 kiloliters there. So 12,00 kiloliters. And we're going to divide that by the 23 days, which was that reading period. And that's how we get the 0 0,522. Okay. At 12 divided by the reading period. Name and explain which service on the statement is a variable expense. So a big variable expense here is going to be the water consumption. Because the more water you use, the more you pay. And the less water you use, the less you pay. Let's change up color. Determine the missing value here for A. So A is going to be this value here. 690,000 times 0 0.006 rands divided by 12 just plug that as is into your calculator and you should get 397 rand 67 cents that's rands to calculate b here so look the current charges is 880 so 430 plus b plus 167 is equal to 880 so you can just set up a, a bit of a linear equation here it's taking you to your algebra days and in order to isolate b you take this 430 over the 167 over they become negative and it's 880 minus 430 minus 167 don't forget the decimals and your answer is going to be 282,40 change color again 2.2.7 calculate the monthly sewerage rate excluding 14 percent vat per square meter for this property monthly sewerage here um the amount is 298,36 and the size is 463. So 298 divided by 463. Uh, don't forget the decimals. So 298,36 divided by 463. And we would get a rand amount there of 0, 0,6444. Okay, and a bunch of other decimals. 2.2.8, .2 write down the unpaid amount for December 2016. So previous account outstanding balance, we still need to pay this 919,33. Mr. Fortune paid 1800 on the 15th of June, sorry, 15th January 2017. Name the type of rounding he used to obtain this amount. Well, it she should have paid 1799,43, but he just decided to round up, just so it's a nice whole better looking number. So rounding up is the answer. Okay, nice little question.